Hello, and thanks for taking the time to answer my questions. We are picking sixth in the upcoming draft and are very interested in what you bring to the table. All right, let's get to it. Talk about what you have to improve on as you make the jump to the next level. We'd like to see what you think about your game as a whole. Well, to improve my game, it's definitely going to have to be my jump shot. My jump shot is not where I want it to be. Um, let's see. My offensive game, I need to improve my focus. I'm going to have to go with focus, though. Focus is probably the best way to go. Primarily my focus and being mentally uh, tougher. I need to study the game and watch the players in front of me and learn. I also need to learn from the veteran guys so I can step in and contribute when my name is called. Uh, that sounds about right. What do you guys think? Let's see the next question. Interesting. Next question. If you were a GM, where would you draft yourself in this draft? Um, dang, this is a hard, this is a hard choice. Because uh, if I say I want to play for you guys, then I may get the number six pick to the Pelicans. And, uh, you know, Drew Holiday is already there. Um, how about top three? Easy. I draft myself top three without giving it a second thought. I may not look like it right now, but I guarantee you people will look back on this draft and ask themselves, what were all those teams thinking when they passed on this guy? Guaranteed, baby. Smooth as silk, baby. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for your time. This gives us something to take back to the team. We'll see you on draft night. Greetings. I'm the GM and Director of Player Personnel for the Washington Wizards. We have the third pick in the draft, and I'm considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple questions real quick if you don't mind. Now, obviously, you play at arguably our strongest position in point guard. John Wall is our centerpiece, and who we're building this team around. Right now, our focus is to add talent and depth around him and see how far he can take us. Would you be comfortable not being the focus of a team, as we already have a franchise cornerstone? Nah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be. Not at all. I'll be a star someday. I just want to win. I can't take a back seat. Mm, that's not me, man. That, that's, that's just not me. I've never taken a backseat in my life, and I certainly can't start doing that now. John Wall is great and all, but I don't want to be anyone's sidekick. It's just not my style, man. Good luck to you in D.C., but I just can't be a part of it. All right. Cool answer. But the funny thing is, he's probably going to ask me another question, and I already told him. I'm good. <laughs> Watch this. Next question. This question is more about how you feel about what we're doing here in Washington. We're a young and upcoming team that is gathering youth to make us more competitive. It's going to be a difficult process. and We can't expect to be a contender in year one. Are you prepared to deal with the highs and lows of an up and coming team? Okay, um, now, with this answer, I think that this answer is supposed to, like, up your morale for the other teams that's building, which have the higher lottery picks. So, I'm going I'm to I'm pick A because I'm going to say I like the talent and stuff like that. Oh, most definitely. Looking at the roster you have, I love all the young talent on that thing. You got players at every position that are just oozing with potential, man. Oozing. This is a great team for me to get in with while we all grow together as a team. We could definitely be challenging for the East Crown within a few years, man. That's for sure. All right, that was a little bit too, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was on, he was on his cock a little too much. You know what I'm saying? He should have said, I like the talent, but, you know, it's not the place I want to be. Thanks for your time. It was a little disappointing, to be honest, but I appreciate you being up front with us. Greetings, I'm the GM and Director of Player Personnel for the Detroit Pistons. 
We have the eighth pick of the draft and are looking for someone to be the face of our franchise. We'd like to ask you a couple questions and get a feel of how well you'd fit in with us. The team that we built here in Detroit was a rebuilding effort that didn't quite pan out. Obviously, it's difficult to predict the future, but I expect to see a fair amount of roster turnover as we work towards retooling the lineup for another rebuilding effort. How comfortable would you feel coming into a situation where the roster is in a state of flux? Okay, first of all, y'all want me to replace Brandon Knight? That it? That was what I want? I want me to replace Brandon Knight? <laughs> Alright, let's see. I can do it for a couple years. I don't have time rebuilding. I'm okay with the small rebuild. Not a problem with me. Let's say I could do it for a couple years. It sounds to me like you're asking if I'm comfortable losing in the short term. Sure, I can handle that for a little while as I learn the NBA game. It's not the biggest motivator in the world, but if you're telling me that you guys have a master plan, I can definitely get on board with that as long as it doesn't hold my game back. That's an honest opinion and an honest answer. Because, you know, some guys that come to the NBA, they want to win, win, win. You know, and you can't be bad for 10 years and expect me to stay on ship. Let's see. One more question, if you don't mind. Being in the NBA brings a lot of responsibilities. And some people just aren't ready for it, if you know what I mean. What are your plans once you get that first paycheck? Oh, <laughs> Um, haven't given it much thought. Uh, I'm gonna take care of my parents. That's that's just truthfully what I would do in real life. Easy answer. My parents have spent their entire life putting me into the position I'm in right now. I want nothing more than to take care of them and make sure that the rest of their lives are as carefree as possible. I don't need glitz and glamour. I just need my loved ones cared for. I do need the glitz and glamour, though. He's just lying. <laughs> Some interesting answers. Thanks again for your time. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.